Hello, I'm going to do a short presentation about Python Caucus 2D, which is a nice game development library for Python. It is not widely used as some other libraries, for example, Pygame, but it does have some interesting features that I'm going to show you. Uh, to use Python Caucus 2D, I'm going to use PyCharm, which is my preferred editor. Uh, I'm going to use a project that I've developed uh, some time ago using Caucus 2D so we you can check out my project which is a nice base from, from for a simple game okay you we are going to check out from git it's um, same pop the game and we are going to clone it yes we want to open as a project okay, and we have a simple game using uh, Caucus 2D the main scri script is Sempop ok as you can see PyCharm is complaining that it's unable to, to find Caucus this means we need to install Caucus, the, the Caucus 2D library it's, it's not usually available on your distribution, on, on Linux distributions, is not usually available as a package from the distributions, but we can use PyCharm and uh, the Python package uh, install tool. So we are going to file settings, we go to the project interpret interpreter, and we can add libraries. Okay, let's search for Cocos 2T and let's install the package I'm going to install it at the system level so ok, it's installed let's close close ok, as you can see it was successfully installed and we, we can it's already available um, you see it is ready it's because I didn't properly set up the project but it will work anyway so let's just try to run the game we run same pop and it just works okay it's it's not it's not a genuine game well it's working so I'm going to sh now I'm going to show you uh, what are the elements of the game so that you can work on a, some game okay the main the main script does doesn't do much it just set up the directory for resources resources are my the game images which you you have here so the main script just sets up the directory for this the the um, resources it set up the window with a title and then it runs a scene and the scene it's just for now it's just the main menu um, there are there is no options menu but in the future it will probably have more options but for now it's just the main menu the main menu is built here I set up the font the font and we wear that we add items here and we have the actions for a new game we just push with a transition we, pu we push the game view okay uh, I've adopted the model view controller uh, system for this so you have the game view which doesn't have much, much. It just uh, sets the adapt display the model which um, which will show the, the entire game screen we start the model we set our objectives on, on the add up display and we show the message and we show uh, the message during some events ok now I'm going to show you the game controller which is very simple this game just uses mouse so the game controller is just uh, a wrap around the mouse events and calls on mouse press and on, on mouse drag on our model so the real game engine its own game model as you can see we have the data structure to, to keep everything that we need to track in order to, 
to move the pieces and to identify um, the pieces that need to be switched and collided. So this is the, the game control. We set our objectives, we fill with random titles, we swap elements during on mouse we implode lines after on mouse and we drop groundless titles. Um, just let's just look at one use of of uh, Cocos 2D on title swap completed we we start swap animation for both subjects we just need to use sprites and do a move to and we tell tell them where to move and how much time should it take to move and that's all you need to do it to do you have uh, several actions that you apply to sprites and uh, Cocos 2D does all the all the 2D movement for you so we have the adapt display which is a bit more complex because it uses a score layer it uses a progress bar which shows how, how far you are on your objective and it shows you what level you are at and your score position the status bar the progress bar sorry the progress bar it's a more complex element because it's a custom component co cocos 2d component and we draw uh, it's the percentage of the status and we draw it using uh, OpenGL okay and um, I'm just missing status which is just uh, an object to keep the current score next piece and to keep the object status so um, if you want to try Cocos 2D just use PyCharm install Cocos 2D get same prop from git and just change it and uh, do something else with it I'm just going to show the game, ag the, the game again new game and you can see this is the progress bar that I was talking about these are the objectives and we just need to go for the objectives as you can see it will react when you, you can when you achieve one of the object the objectives it's all for now see you in the next presentation